Here we are uh, with Broforce uh, for the PC currently. Um, it will be brought out to the uh, 3DS, PS4, PS3, Xbox 360, and Xbox One very soon. Um, here I'm showing you different modes. Uh, this is uh, the multiplayer right here. Just showing off a few modes here. Let's go right into the game. It's the uh, introduction of our game here. And as you can see, I'm playing with uh, uh, one of the Men in Black guys. Um, jumping around. Very powerful weapon this character has. Um, he's one of the strongest. And his jumping ability is pretty good, as you can see. Every time you uh, run past one of those flagpoles, you will uh, get a checkpoint. And you can see I just got a new guy. There's uh, Arnie. Represents the Terminator. Um, he has a special move where he turns into a Terminator, and he's pretty much invincible. Uh, against anything, uh, but it doesn't last maybe for only five seconds or so, but it's a pretty cool ability uh, That they brought into this game. I think they did a wonderful job with putting in these different characters like uh, say Robocop right here And I might add um, I am currently using fraps I tested out a few other recorders and so far fraps is the best the other ones, they don't record right. They won't record into a. Uh, they won't record into a uh, good format. Thank you, boy. Which one you don't have to stop? Here's the second level of the game. Um, and you see, I got a new character. He's he represents Conan, uh, Conan the Barbarian. I don't know if a lot of you viewers have watched it. I apologize again. Here's uh, what Fraps does. Uh, Fraps, you have to constantly hold the F9 button down just to record it. Here I am beating uh, second level. And it's nice that these on these levels, it brings me a reminiscent of uh, what Duke Nukem used to do. Uh, you know, in Duke Nukem, once you beat the level, the level explodes. But you don't get to get a character... Uh, that represents Duke Duke, which kind of sucks, but I like that little addition they did. Very nostalgic um, how they did this game. Um, it's for guys, you know, the blood, guts, gores, weapons. It's all there. Um, and my fiance is really particularly caring for this game. She did play this with me as there is an additional uh, option where you could play co op. I just got to be careful. They're. They tried to take the friendly fire off, but in reality, if you throw a couple grenades at, say, your buddy, they will blow up. So, that kind of sucks uh, when you're playing with two people, especially newbies uh, playing this game. It gives you a little trouble, but it's not that bad overall once you get the hang of it and, you know... And plus, you get unlimited continues. Uh, here we are with another one that represents a uh, representation of uh, Arnie. Uh, this guy happens to be the guy from Predator. Um, and he has pretty good weapons. I mean, I like the one guy who has... Oh, I think this is the guy. Yeah, this is the guy with the missiles. Good weapon, but be careful where you shoot because... <clears throat> you might have an accident. And see what just happened. I blew myself up there. Uh, which does happen a lot in this game. I mean, sometimes you get a little chaotic. And, you know, you want to blow everything up in sight. But, lo and behold, oops. There's a uh, propane tank or a gas tank, whichever you want to call it. And you're done. Um... The Blade character, this is, actually, this is our better, favorite character of mine, uh, right here. The Dynamite guy, I don't 
know which movie he represents, but he kind of does like the all-around action guy. Um, I apologize for the coughing there. I did not record it voice. Um, it's, if Fraps said it didn't, but lo and behold, it does. So if you guys are going to use Fraps, remember, don't say anything that you don't want to say or unless you got to do your video over. Because uh, luckily, um, I didn't record because I, I have neighbors come in and out here. So it, it's going to do a playthrough. But um, luckily this game, off, you know, you go about your business. You restart right back where you are. That's a nice, very nice addition for this game. Um, it is big. Uh, there is over 40 levels in the game. Uh, so it's not, you know, a game you're going to play for five minutes. No, this game, the first time I went through it, it took me about almost three hours to beat it. And I thought that was well worth my $5. I mean, I'm looking at once this comes out for the console systems, uh, such as, you know, my the PS3 and uh, 3DS, I'm definitely going to pick this game up. And I did happen to get a few neighbors that have uh, are waiting. They don't go do the Kickstarter thing, but they're going to wait until this game is released officially. And um, they're definitely going to play it. So show this to your friends and family, you know. If you guys like death and destruction and killing people and bombs and grenades, all that jazz, this is a game for you. Uh, see, I do a continue here. Uh, there's going to be a few spots throughout the play for, playthrough, you'll notice, where I kind of stopped and go. Uh, I tried to record some of the features here just to show them off so people know what to expect in the game. Of course, Fraps... It's not the best recording software. Um, it was running my frame rate down in my game, which was a little problematic. But, uh, uh, what can you do? Well, this is all for episode one. Um, I'm going to show you guys uh, until we get to the boss here. I'll show you a little bit. Got little ways to go here. <coughs> Apologize, my computer is super, super slow. Uh, it works. If it lets me play frat, uh, do this, and that's awesome. Because I tried at least uh, one called EDM recorder that was pretty much junk. Uh, I thought it was recording, it actually was, but it didn't give me a counter, so, uh, it was problematic, and then it kept saying the file was corrupted and all this nonsense, so I just got rid of the program right away. Um, you guys have any other better ideas for video recording? I am down. Um, and right here we're showing the boss level. Uh, it's pretty cool. The boss levels are like other levels, except when you come into the end here. I'll be show. Showing you here. He's coming right up. I'm just doing a little messing around, getting some guys rid of. Uh, here we go with the boss level. And, um, like I said, it's pretty much a level within itself, and, you know, they they threw a couple prisoners up down there, so I use those really primarily as backup um, for the bosses, because if you're running out of your secondary weapon, as soon as you pick up, I sorry I didn't catch the boss there, but like I said, if you're you got your second arrow up, and you're going to want to use a lot on these bosses because they take a lot of hits. Um, it's, you will see in the further bosses, they get more harder, more worse. Um, oh, see, so it caught my voice there, and I didn't even know it. When they keep that in, just to... Uh, 
show you people how these programs work. Uh, this is the second level after the boss. Um, showing a few minutes of it. Um, and we'll be back with level two. And there's up to four levels in this game. So guys, go out there, pick up this game. The uh, demo is well worth, you know, or the beta, excuse me, is well worth the price that you pay. You know, give them five, ten bucks, uh, and you get this awesome game. It still has a lot of features as a single-player game does, or multiplayer game does. Because uh, you can still go into multiplayer maps, and there's a lot of people playing it. Still be locked, uh, which is a little tough, but i found lately more games are being started, so I see more and more people are starting to play. So it's pretty cool. I think this is going to be a next big game for us gamers. Um, so far, it's very reminiscent of the 80s and 90s with the characters they play that you play as. And it has that old school pixel, pixelated touch that uh, does give you reminiscent of games. Um, and one cool thing I want to add, I am playing with a Super Nintendo controller. Believe it or not, I was playing this game. Uh, I have an adapter. You can go out to Amazon. They have adapters to plug your Genesis, NES, uh, 64, etc. into your laptop, and you can play Flash games with them, such as this. Um, you can even play any PC games that, um, like Halo or Max Payne with the Super Nintendo controller. So guys, if you're interested, just go to Amazon. Um, I went in, I typed in um, NES controller, for example, NES controller to PC, and they come up. They're about 15 bucks, well worth the money if you play emulators and such. Or if you want to be cool and show off to your friends, hey look, I'm playing Halo on a Super Nintendo controller, what are you playing? You know? And it just makes the games a lot easier because myself, I wasn't raised a PC gamer. I was raised a console gamer. So I take console over PC any day. But sometimes there are little exceptions, such as Broforce, I just fall in love with that, you know, brings that reminiscent touch. Um, and there's a gardening game, I forgot the name of it, that's also similar to this. But it's not as bloody it's more kid driven uh go check that out i watched on the uh one of the pax episodes from screw attack so and that's where i learned about worse too so guys just help these guys out spend a quick five bucks and you got yourselves an awesome game and by the game comes out you'll probably get the, the full version game too but i see this being a very very wonderfully developed game so far and it's got so much um, so much slapped in the beta process that I just cannot wait to the full version what it's going to show. Maybe more levels, maybe more characters, maybe more options. There's different deathmatch death match types to play in. So there, you'll get your well worth uh, out of this game. As for now, I'm going to say goodbye. This is the end of episode one. And guys, until next time, keep on gaming. Later.
I don't have Okay, how much money do you need to have?
God damn, I was so 